Hi, I asked you to tell me who is the most fun survivor to play against in DBD. And here's what you said. In total, we had more than 230,000 votes. So thank you to everybody who voted. Now to determine the final tier and ranking for each character, we use the following formula. Every 1% in S tier counts as two points. A tier counts as one point, B tier counts as negative one point, and C tier counts as negative two points. We then add the total points for each tier. If the total is 75 or above, the end result is S tier. If the total is negative 75 or below, the end result is C tier. And of course, A and B tier are in the middle. I've then arranged them starting with the lowest score all the way up to the highest score. We are also only ranking the base characters, not legendaries. But let me know in the comments, where would you rank those? So let's start with the C tier characters. You might be able to guess who they are. Starting with negative 78 points is Nia. Now I completely understand this one, but I don't personally agree. Agree. I like the challenge. I know that Nias have a reputation of being toxic, and I also see a lot of high-skilled Nias that try to bait you into chase, but I find the challenge of a skilled Nia fun myself. But I'm also the weirdo who likes going against Nurse, so take that with a grain of salt. Next up with negative 76 points is Claudette. Many of you know my feelings on Claudette. I find baby Claudettes absolutely adorable, and I occasionally see really cracked Claudettes and I respect them for it. But the Claudettes that just hide to the detriment of their team? Yeah, those Claudettes are C tier. I agree. Right, moving on to B tier with negative 56 is Feng Min. Now, lots of votes for C tier on this one, but enough votes in the higher tiers to bump her up to B tier overall. Now, I'd personally go with A tier myself. Again, I like the challenge, but I'm not surprised with her being lower. So ultimately, community voted B tier. With negative 54 points is Michaela, and I'm not surprised at all by this result. But again, I'm not in agreement with it. I personally like going against Michaela's typically. However, a toxic Michaela can frustrate me more than normal for some reason. I don't know what it is about her character. If I see a toxic Fung or a toxic Nia, I kind of expect that, or at least I know it's a possibility. So I'm kind of prepared for it mentally, but I don't actually expect Michaela players to be toxic. So when they are, it's a little more jarring for me. But I know that Circle of Healing was probably a big factor in her getting voted lower. I actually didn't have issues with it, even pre-nerf. I have issues with Boon gameplay in general, but I thought the perk itself was in an okay spot. All that to be said though, I do like the nerf and think it's a good balance. But for me, Michaela is an A tier. That said, totally respect the community voting her lower. With negative 36 points is Jonah, and I'm not at all surprised. I don't meet too many people with strong opinions on Jonah, good or bad. So B tier seems fitting, just kind of meh tier, I guess. With negative 19 is Yoon Jin, and this one was very divisive, all over the place. A minor majority voted C tier, but then a solid mix between the other tiers bumped her up a bit. I'm kind of indifferent going against Yoon Jin's. I don't have negative feelings, probably more neutral overall. So to me, a solid B tier is good. With negative one point and barely missing out on A tier is our newest survivor, Renato, or one of our newest survivors. Honestly, he's too new for me to really know for sure where I would rank him. So high B tier is fitting, I think. I don't have a single negative thought about him, but I also don't have too many positive things to say yet either. So I'm just kind of neutral. So it also seems like the community feels moderately neutral about him, right in the middle. If you're enjoying the video, would you please let me know by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. And while you're there, would you also please consider subscribing if you haven't already. All those things helps me out by signaling to YouTube to show this video to more people. So I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, next up is A tier. And just squeaking in with five points is Elodie. Overall, the community did not really feel negative towards her, but there was a lot of meh, I guess. I love her lore, but I rarely see her anymore in game. And I can't say I've had too many Elodies leave a big impression on me, either positive or negative. I'd maybe bump her down to B tier myself, but I'm okay with her being in A tier. Following with nine points is Meg. And this makes sense to me. I generally like going against Megs. I'd maybe rank her a more solid A tier myself, but definitely not S tier. So ultimately, I'm happy with how the community voted for her. With 13 points is Adam, and I'm actually surprised on this one. I thought he'd be much higher. I think A tier is fitting, but he barely made it in. I thought he'd get a solid A tier for sure, because I thought Adam's had a pretty positive reputation among the community. So A tier is where I would put him, but I'm definitely shocked he's not closer to S tier at least. Next up with 36 points is Hattie, and it's good to see Hattie get A tier. She obviously felt forgotten about for quite a while, and she's got some of the best lore in the game, in my opinion. And I generally enjoy going against Hatties. So I think A tier is good with me. With 37 points is Lori. Definitely a solid A tier, and I would agree. I see a lot of respectfully good Loris, but not really any toxic Loris. So I'm on board with this result. With 42 points is Nancy, and this one surprises me too. I'd actually thought that Nancy would be lower, but I'm glad she's in A tier. 
I agree. I generally like going against Nancy's too and respect how they play typically. With 45 points is our other newest survivor, Thalita, and it's good to see a new original survivor so high. Just like with Renato, I haven't faced enough of them to really make a solid decision myself on where I'd rank her, but I generally have a positive sentiment towards her. I think I have faced a few more Thalitas than Renato's, and most of them have gone pretty well. They've been fun to face, so I'm good with A tier. Next up with 46 points is Quinton, and I'm definitely not surprised with this at all. Maybe I expected S tier? I'd maybe bump him up myself just because I've had nothing but good experiences with Quentin's. He's so rare to see that it's really a special event when it happens, but A tier's good too. With 51 points is Jane, and I'm excited to see Jane so high. I really enjoy facing Jane's most of the time. And even though she has a perk that I see used by a lot of toxic bully squads, I don't see a lot of toxic Janes, ironically. So I'd 100% agree. A tier is a good spot. Next up with 53 points is David. And I'm also glad to see such a positive sentiment towards him. I think Davids are generally pretty respectfully good at the game and generally fun to face. So A tier feels right to me. With 57 points is Tap. And I have really nothing negative to say about Tap. I can only recall one toxic Tap in my time. The rest have all seemed to be team players and self-sacrificial. So I feel very positive towards Tap and would agree with A tier. With 61 points is Felix and I'm definitely glad to see Felix in A tier as well. I definitely grew to love his character while researching him for his lore video, and I think that feeds a positive sentiment towards him overall, and I feel like most Felix mains play in a way that supports that. So he's definitely at least A tier for me. With 65 points is Jake, and Jake's are solid fun to go against. I'd agree. I think A tier is a good home for him. Tied at 68 points is both Ace and Yoichi. Now, you know me, I love going against Aces. And that's a change from my original feelings about him. So for me personally, he's S tier. Ace mains have won me over with their hilarious charm. And I'm not surprised with Yoichi being so high. It's hard not to like Yoichi for some reason. I don't see a lot of them, but when I do, I know I'm in for a good trial. Rounding out the category and just missing S tier with 73 points is my twin, Dwight. I always enjoy going against Dwight's. There's something just adorable about him. And no, I didn't just try to compliment myself by saying that. But Dwight's are almost always fun for me to go against, so I'm really happy with a high A tier for him. All right, next up we come to S tier, and squeaking into this tier with 75 points exactly is Kate. This one actually surprised me. The overall sentiment was almost entirely positive, which I 100% agree with. However, I've heard from a lot of you that you find a lot of toxic Kates out there. That's not my personal experience, but I assume that would show up more in these results. But I agree with S tier because I love going against Kates. There's such a range in skill level, you never know what you're gonna get, and I personally don't see a lot of toxic Kates, so she's S tier for me. With 78 points is Vittorio, and I don't think any of us are surprised by that. I don't see many anymore, which is kind of weird to me, but I also don't think I've had a single negative experience with a Vittorio, and especially knowing how much of a positive sentiment the community has for him, it makes sense that he is S tier. With 81 points is Zarina, and here's another high tier one that I don't see many of in game. When I do though, they're generally pretty good and hardly ever toxic, and I enjoy the challenge, so I'm definitely good with S tier on this one. Our first survivor to break 100 points is Jeff, and for a character that is so so beloved, they are incredibly rare to see, which honestly is probably one of the reasons people love Jeff so much. That and he's just a quality dude. With 110 points is Ash. Was there ever any doubt that Ash would be an S tier? I mean, it's Ash. Of course he's going to be an S tier, right? Ash mains are phenomenal to play against. A lot of fun. Tied with 116 points is both Bill and Yui. And I absolutely love this for both of them. Those are two of my favorite characters right there. Always a joy to see in trial. Next up with 122 points each is Cheryl and Ada. Neither one of these surprises me. Cheryl's are usually pretty good at the game. They provide a decent challenge and are rarely toxic in my experience. Adas are all over the place in terms of skill level right now, but they're pretty much always fun to face for me. I had an adorable Ada in stream the other night who did everything she could to try to save the Leon on her team. It was perfectly in character and I loved it. Staying with the Resident Evil characters with 123 points is Rebecca. I mean, this one's obvious, right? She's absolutely adorable, except for the toxic cowgirl Rebecca's. But otherwise, Rebecca's are always fun to face for me. Definitely a mix of skill, but always fun. So to me, S tier is perfect. With 125 points is Jill. And this one's not surprising at all. I mean, it's hard not to love Jill, especially if you're a Resident Evil fan. And she's got some decent perks. Blast Mine is one of my favorites to use and to go against. I think it's such a fun perk. And she's got great cosmetics. General skill level is kind of all over the place, which can be interesting. So kind of like with Kate, I really enjoy that. She's definitely S tier to me. Plus she's one of my favorite characters of all time. So I am a bit biased, I will admit. But you all knew that already. And now we come to the number one slot. 
and it's a tie. Both of them have 126 points. One of these truly surprised me. It's Steve. Now, I love Steve. He's definitely S tier for me, but I honestly thought I was in the minority there. I thought there were a lot of people who really disliked Steve. So I definitely expected him to be much, much lower. And I never expected him to come close to tying for the win. I'm okay with it. I love him. I love his character. I loved him in the show. He's one of my favorites in the show, but I'm honestly shocked he scored so high. All right, the other one is Leon. And I'm obviously very, very happy about this. I said Jill's one of my favorite characters of all time. Leon is probably my favorite character of all time. He's an instant S tier for me. I always love going against Leons and I find them hardly ever to be toxic. Definitely a mix of skill. RE4 Leons tend to be absolute legends at the game. Well, RE2 Leons, they can be all over the place. But as you can probably guess, I'm super stoked that he came in tied for number one. Now, some interesting things I saw along the way. Out of the top six were all four of the Resident Evil characters. Yui was the most highly rated original survivor with 116 points. And while still in A tier, Lori was the lowest rated licensed character. So that is where you, my community, chose to rank each of these survivors and my thoughts on the results. Let me know in the comments, were you surprised by any of the results? Do you agree with them? Do you disagree? Chat with me down there. If you enjoyed the video, can you let me know by hitting that like button and a comment down below really helps me out. And please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. As always, you are awesome, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. And it's good to see Addy, Addy, with 81 per, wow. Cheryl's are usually, words are hard, but you all knew that already, I hit my desk. Yui was the most highly rated original survivor with 126 points, no 116 points because 126 would actually mean she won, so, or tied for winning, she didn't, so 116.